Welcome back to Come Relax and Learn. Today what I want to show you is basically how you can make rubber bullets at home and be able to shoot them at home. And I say this because sometimes, you know, we don't have the time to go to the range. If you're like me, you know, sometimes I feel lazy and I, you know, I suffer from depression at times and you know, you just want to stay home and relax. You don't want to be going out and, you know. So basically, like the previews showed earlier, all you need is a glue gun and some molds, uh, casting molds, and you're good to go. So earlier, I showed how you can get the glue gun and squirt uh, glue inside the the cavities of the reloading mold in this case this is a 356 uh, mold and same as if you were casting all you gotta do is you know open the mold and you know open it like such this is the type of bullet that it makes and you're good to go so these are the bullets that it makes these are three five six bullets and basically all you do is you hand prime the cases you need a, a, a device like this Lee hand primer or you can um, prime your cases using uh, a press it doesn't really matter but once you prime the good thing about it is all you need to do is manually push the bullet in you don't even need to uh, open the case neck or anything you just push the bullet in by hand and you feed it in your pistol now when you feed it in your pistol it has to be fed by hand because um, it won't be there won't be enough uh, power to recoil the case back and eject it so you have to manually plunk it in the barrel and then you have to shoot it and then just open the action and the case will come out but it won't come out automatically after after you shoot it and the same thing can be done with any other calibers this is a 0 .451 uh, ball or round round uh, ball, and I use this for uh, casting uh, lead balls, round balls for my black powder revolvers. But you can also make them out of rubber or out of you know glue, and they'll fit your 45 Colt cases. You know, all you do is you manually, you know, you got to prime, prime the case. Well, you got to, of course, after you shoot, you got to remove the primer. But insert the ball as such. I'm not going to do it right now because I have to still remove the primer. But you insert the, the ball by hand. You put it on your revolver and you're good to go. Now, making these bullets... For revolvers, it's probably the best case scenario because you can insert all six chambers of the revolver. And, you know, especially if you have a double action or even a single action, you would, pow, you would shoot it, click, and it will rotate. And you can do about six of them before you have to empty the cylinder uh, versus a semi-automatic like such where you have to... Put the bullet in, close the action, shoot it, and then you would have to rack it back to remove the, the case and then insert another one by hand. 
um, and I've done the same uh, with other bullet molds this is a uh, 44 mag case if you can tell it has a different bullet same thing you prime the case you insert the rubber bullet by hand you shoot it this is a uh, 200 grain 45 Colt uh, rubber bullet. The good thing is you see it's a little dirty. So you shoot the, the bullet, they'll you know get a little bit of a dirt, but you can reuse the bullets. That's a good thing about these. You don't have to make tons of them, you just make a few. And this is a 240 uh, 429 rubber bullet. Like you can see it's a little a little um, primer dust in it but it is a 240 grain um, 44 magnum um, you know, cast mold but in this case it's a rubber mold you know, and you can insert it into your 44 magnum case like so and this is how You know, it'll just sit there. And that's how you do it. So to recap, all you need is a glue gun, a mold, and a gun, and, a, and prime. So you prime the cases. You uh, get the bullet out of the mold, insert it into the case, put it in your gun, and you shoot it inside your home. It's convenient. It's not very loud. I was shooting in the garage. And um, from the outside, you can hear nothing. So you can shoot inside your home. Yeah, I mean, it's going to make a little noise from the primer uh, detonation. But it's very, very minimal. You know, you got your doors closed. And even if your garage door is open or closed, the, the sound that it emits... Uh, to the outside is just minimal, so no one's thinking that you're actually shooting guns. They won't barely hear it. All right, guys, another short and to the point video. Again, I know that you have many options. There's a few videos on how to, on how to make these on the web or on YouTube, and I appreciate you taking your time to watch in mine. That's all I got. I will see you on the next one.